Here now is Congressman Mike Johnson. He is from Louisiana and he is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Um, let me ask you about leadership first. Some had sa have said that Kevin McCarthy, you know, in essence, isn't combative enough, that now being in the minority position, that you need somebody who wants to um, throw grenades more than wants to build bridges. What do you think about that? Well, look, I think Kevin will be a great leader for us. I, I love Jim Jordan. He's one of my closest friends and uh, most trusted allies in, in Congress, and he gave it a good run. It was an important uh, symbolic run. But, but Kevin has won the election, and now we unify. Everybody left the room. I think they'll all tell you uh, very unified. And, and the conference is together. We're ready to go to battle. We'll have to do that. But we do want to continue to, to move the ball forward. So I think you'll have a conciliatory tone. And if the Democrats make good on the promises that we just heard them make, we can continue to move the ball forward for the country. And I think the American people want us to do that. Um, you're on the Judiciary Committee. The new Democratic chair of that committee has said that he's going to start um, by attacking Matt Whitaker, the acting attorney general. Um, you know, they say that he hasn't been confirmed by the Senate, among other things. He doesn't belong in that position. What do you think of that attack, and will it be successful? I think it's unfounded. I do not think it will be successful, and I, and I hope that we don't go down that road. The Judiciary Committee has a, a broad jurisdiction over so many aspects of, uh, of law and policy in this country, and it can be abused. So I, I hope Chairman-elect Nadler uh, will do the right thing and not, not abuse that position. We don't need to take the country down this road of endless investigations and, and, and all the rest, because it's going to mire us in partisan gridlock, and that's not what the American people need and want and deserve. Well, they've made it clear that that is the road they're going to go down. So do you have have any power to fight back against that? Well, well, we'll stay united on our side of the dais and we'll resist that at every turn because I think it's the wrong thing for the country. We've had a remarkable run for the last two years and, and the economy shows it. You've got record low unemployment and wages are going up and we, we had the tax reform and, and uh, regulatory reform. I think that the country wants us to continue that good work and, and if the Democrats try to erase all that, they're going to have a real problem. They're going to meet a firewall of resistance and, and that'll be our responsibility and our obligation to do that. Well, but some have said it's bad politics for them to do this, that if you look at what happened during the Clinton administration, that those who pursued the president endlessly, that their numbers went down, the presidents went up. So maybe you should st step back and let them attack away. Well, look, I, I agree it's terrible politics, but I, I'm not sure that, that some of the leaders over there will be able to resist uh, the, the fringe elements of their base because they're demanding scalps, so to speak, and that's an unfortunate thing. We ought to work together as adults here. We ought to continue to move the country forward. And, and there are some people on the other side of the aisle that I think had the intention of doing that. They want to do what's right by their districts and their constituents, and hopefully those will be the voices that prevail on the other side. I, I think, I think we, better, we better pray that that's the case. Who do you think would be best to lead the other side of the aisle if the goal is for you guys to all get together and try and do some bipartisan work? Who do you think would be the best Democrat to lead them towards, being, towards working with you guys? Well, it's not my place to pick their leadership. Oh, come I did on. have some, come, well, I did have come some on, good... give them a little advice. <laughs> Uh, we had some interesting conversations in the uh, congressional gym this morning with, with some of my colleagues on the other side in the locker room. We talked about that at length. I think they're having a, a struggle within their conference. It'll be very interesting to see how it turns out. I'm not sure Nancy Pelosi has the votes that she needs, but um, many on our side, as you know, are, are cheering for her because I think she would be a, a great contrast to the policies and the principles that we represent. Uh, she doesn't sell very well in my district in Louisiana, and I think that's true uh, yeah. in a lot of places around the country. We'll just, see what happens. Just between us, you want to tell us who was saying what in the gym this morning? Huh. Yeah. They don't like. Who are you? I won't tell anyone. I won't. Just we, us. It's a code. We can't violate it. Oh, all right, Congressman. Thank you. Come back soon. Appreciate your time.